Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having any questions or you're noticing that the CCX process is missing on your Windows computer. So this is a part of the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. And if you're noticing that this is an issue or you're having a problem with it actually running continuously in the background, so when the Adobe programs are running, this process will run automatically. However, if you do not want it to continuously run in the background, we can disable it through the registry editor. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, you come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name and recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range of all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you would have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that's done, we're ready to begin. And we're gonna start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Go down to policies and double click on that. Should be an Adobe folder. Right click on Adobe, select new, and then select key. You wanna name this key CCX new. The C, CX, and the N in new should all be capitalized. Everything else should be lowercase in here. Hit enter. And then on the right panel, then while we have this folder selected, you want to right click, select new, then select the word 32-bit value. Name this value disabled, D-I-S-A-B-L-E-D. -E Hit enter. Double click on that value. Make sure value data is set to zero. And then select OK. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point, your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.